everyone, my name is Tao Yuan and China is multi microgrid low balance through EV charging normal. This is an article from IEEE Internet Net Channel by X Channel. So the online starts out with motivation and then from the statement of the article and the objective and proposed solution for the article and result from the proposed solution and then conclusion. So motivation. There is this motivated because of the uh, rapidly changing landscape of the energy system. So the EVs are growing really fast and this is good because we can reduce the fossil fuel usage but they demand, uh, they demand more electricity. And also um, the power generation also use uh, more renewable energy resources. Uh, this, this is good because we can reduce greenhouse energy, greenhouse emissions, and we can fight the climate change. But this is th these are the intermittent and unreliable energy resources. So they pose a lot of challenges in grid management and stability. Uh, as you can see in this chart, this is from the 2016 and from the 2027. As you can see, the EV growth rate is really fast and really high. And also, uh, this is the data from the 2021. So global energy generation, uh, renewable energy generation from renew renewable energy is 20% of the entire global generation. So from the state, the dis distribution of unlevel load in the multi microgrid can cause uh, can cause the stress on some of the microgrid in the multi microgrid. So it it. It can cause uh, inefficient, the inefficiency usage of renewable resources can cause more. Uh, the cost of the renewable energy resources can more cost more high, and also uh, they can impose the uh, impact of grid stability and re reliability. As you can see in the ambulance load, the money peak and the valley are really uh, uh, is a huge gap. So the generation has to be shut down during the valley period and then run back again in the evening peak period. So it costs more to generate electricity than in that kind of load. load. So in balance load, we can flood out all the load. So the objective, it is to develop a load, uh, it is to develop a load balance strategy by using the EV charging network to distribute the load uh, across the entire multi -micro. They can also promote the efficient, the efficient use of renewable energy sources and it can also enhance more in grid stability and reliability. Uh, so this is the implementation of EV charging network in California region. As you can see, the charging every data and they spread out all the charging every data across the entire, entire grid so that the load can evenly distribute along the way. So this is the proposal of the first grid data the algorithm. So input input is the data, pre-process is the data, microgrid clustering, load balancing, and then communication and control, monitoring adjustment, performance evaluation. And then we put it into the modeling methodology. So first is modeling. So what kind of microgrid is this and where will be the EV charging and how efficient can be the EV charging? And uh, what kind of renewable energy sources in the model system? And then algorithm like this and simulation. So in simulation, we import data, we import all the algorithm, and we simulate using MATLAB, and then analyze it. From the simulation data, we can use performance metric or how affected the algorithm can be, or what kind of impact can this MATLAB analysis can cause, and which part of the improvement are needed. So these are the results. So A is the initial load situation, B is the RMS, which is random management system, and C is the STMS, shortest system management system, and then D is load balancing management system. As you can see, uh, initial load, uh, the yellow part is the highest usage, and blue is the lowest usage. As you can see, in uh, random management system, the low, the, the area, uh, some part of the area use high electricity, while the others are using low, uh, 
metric service room. And then shorter distance. So the EV will go to the shorter distance to the charging area. So in some part of the area stay using low electricity, for example, uh, overstressing. And then two, we, when we in, introduce load balancing management system, we can scatter the load across the multi microgrid, reducing the stress of the multi microgrid. So this is the heat map of the power load. You can clearly see the result of the load balance, load balance management system. And this is the efficiency comparison with the numbers of EV. As you can see, the random and short distance, when the number of EV grow, the efficiency reduce. When load balance system efficiency grow higher. So what that means is the load deviation across the grid are narrow one in the load balancing management system and higher in the random and short distance management system. Uh, to conclude, this is a successful implementation of the load balancing system using the EV charging level. So this can also have potential to further development and optimization and this can lead to advance in the sustainable energy system. Thank you. Which kind of this? Uh, so this is where we like. Well, how megawatt of each 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 of the like how many, how many units of megawatt in each of the microgrid system, and how many EVs are gonna be charging, and what time will be the charging will be. Uh, so it will be like EV dynamic SOC, and then EV charging scheduling, and multi microgrid. Renewable energy versus the low data, that kind of thing, uh, input data. For the EV model that you use in inside the modeling, uh, it should be the same model of EV, but but in the real. Yes, uh, because there is no standard for the EV right now, because some of the EVs right now can charge faster, but some of them are cannot charge faster. So this is like not not using the super fast charger, just a standard 20 kilowatt charge. It is based on this. region and they put the charging aggregator and map it out like that and simulate uh, not a real project but a simulation one but they use a uh, California region as a example okay so the load is located at the circle yes okay. Okay. And this part is one microgrid this part is one microgrid this part is one microgrid connect all together to form a multi micro and uh, some of the EVs are go will go to shortest distance and they will cause the uh, stress in this area of load and you can see what you like this and then load balance management we can spread out the EV to the other region so that we can evenly distribute the, the load across the multi micro so every load has a charge Yes, uh, every every microgrid has a charger. 